Good morning all from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, today we start our walk from uh, uh, Ibupuera Park, which is like uh, pretty much uh, downtown. Um, it's really a nice park. Uh, I wish we had a similar one back at home in Istanbul today. Um, I mean, Sao Paulo, <laughs> I read a couple of uh, Wikipedia sentences, but actually I knew that the city was, um, city is, is big, you know, but I didn't know that it's the biggest uh, city, well, metropolitan area in, um, not only in South America, but all Americas, including North America. Uh, well, it's, uh, like passes Mexico City. I always thought Mexico City is bigger. Um, and also in Southern Hemisphere. So it's, uh, it's a quite big city. I mean, normally we make um, like uh, random walks. That's what we like, like random streets. We see a street, we turn there, we take a look, you know, and then we discover something, not just like the touristic spots. But Today, um, it's uh, like we were recently mostly in Asia, but uh, this time it's uh, a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit different uh, because I don't have the balls to uh, like go to random hoods uh, here because, like uh, the Brazilians, the locals, I mean, people from here. Huh? Um, they were like uh, telling me that I should avoid uh, like some streets, some neighborhoods. I mean, I look at this neighborhood and like I see all uh, prosperity and uh, uh, money, you know, but you never know. So it makes always uh, like to trust the locals. I mean, I'm not gonna like uh, hire a fixer in a favela and uh, just go there <laughs> it's not gonna be what we have today um, we will just hang around in downtown area well I mean downtown and in, in, in such a big city it's hard to uh, assess where downtown is but um, I just uh, will visit some some streets uh, some boulevards and um, we take a look around of course if we see uh, like uh, there is no street plan and for sure, we will just, uh, if we see something different, uh, we will go there. Uh, you can see here, like uh, Brazilians, they are crazy, uh, crazy about sports. Like today is, um, I think it's uh, Tuesday still. Uh, I'm a little bit jet lagged. It's like uh, from my hometown, Istanbul, we have like, um, I think like six hours difference. So um, Tuesday morning, I think like around nine now, nine thirty, and uh, you can see all these people uh, like jogging and, and so on, like from the from the room, from the room window, like there were like tennis courts, a dozen of them, and uh, and like people, it's like I don't know at the sunrise they were they just started to play tennis. <laughs> uh, I mean this is. Uh, <laughs> This is incredible compared to my native country. Well, good for them. I mean, uh, it's just like uh, you think like uh, you have so many athletes uh, from Brazil and then uh, when you see this, you know, you know why. I mean, it's uh, weather is uh, quite hot, quite hot compared to my liking. But I mean, you know, what, what we always do is just uh, walk in. Uh, uh, hot weather uh, cities until now, except uh, except uh, <laughs> Iceland one, Iceland video, our Iceland video, which is uh, for some reason not so popular. So, if you are interested, go check it out. Maybe if you like, we can make uh, if uh, we go to Iceland again, we make more videos and maybe we make a uh, Reykjavik video. So, yeah. Um, 
I think uh, like uh, this city is, is nice you can see uh, there are in this park is huge huh? so I will not walk all or all you, you cannot walk all or all the paths and so on like um, there is a lake I will go there to show you show you around not just like the jogging part you know like uh, it's kind of sunny and boring for me because <laughs> I'm not gonna joke my uh, different activity will be uh, maybe doing a beer okay we are walkers so we walk but uh, we also drink beer so we will uh, cross the park and then we'll get into the city and have more city footage I have been here before um, but I mean this time I have a little bit more time which is uh, quite nice nights I had like awful sleep it was uh, there were some mosquitoes I mean I stay on the 17th floor and like the mosquitoes are so resilient and <laughs> I didn't know that they can climb up to 17th floor oh well ah oh, it's nice I mean look at this tree this is nice oh. I wish we had a park like this in, in Istanbul but well I mean the climate is, is much better here it's uh, the city is uh, well in, in southern hemisphere start with um, but um, like it's it's high elevation so uh, you have more um, temperate um, climate like uh, once I was here and it was uh, it was like uh, how many degrees like in the evening at night was 14 degrees so you need a hoodie or something you know like people from here they like wear like big jackets and so on but uh, I mean for me a hoodie was fine it's all psychological the the cold like if you convince yourself that it's cold you know then you freeze but if you say okay I know I, I will not die I can handle this uh, then it's fine um, I didn't make big research I, mean, I, I don't know a lot about the history I mean uh, I know some uh, things uh, about demographics and like uh, uh, geography of this country you know that they had uh, here uh, a crazy president <laughs> well I don't know if they uh, like all the Brazilians I met they were like complaining about Lula da Silva like uh, the current one and he was uh, he was pre president before as well huh? you know and he was convicted well and uh, Bolsonaro yeah yeah <laughs> Jair Bolsonaro I don't know I don't know his first name but Bolsonaro came to me I'm not good with names he he was uh, well, from the outside world he looked different but I think here people are also segregated like uh, like their political standings are uh, highly uh, separated like uh, some people support one side like I mean uh, all around the world is pretty much the same like the same in US huh? or like in, in my country it's the same like 50% 50% or like 50, 51% 49% so here I think it's the same and you have here um, like I mean uh, what I like about South America and here is that you like in North America you have uh, like here the people the, the colonizers huh? the Portuguese in this case they uh, mixed up with the like uh, local population or uh, the ex-slaves that they uh, brought in from Africa so they is like the culture is, is, is really different it's it's uh, it's really vibrant they like to have fun even if they don't have money you know like in Western world if if I also count myself a member of the Western world as a, as a Turkish citizen <laughs> we don't know how we don't know how to have fun you know like we we just think like yeah we need to have a lot of money and um, yeah it's just uh, then we go for a vacation or a week you know but uh, like or maybe go out on on Saturdays or Fridays oh, we came back to the same place well it's fine 
uh, I'll walk from uh, the lake shore again. And, um, but here they, like, um, for them, it's just they just put some chairs, like, in front of their shops and uh, drink some beer, beers, uh, and um, listen uh, music and make sports like, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are making sports and what's in my mind <laughs> is that like uh, we walk and then, I mean it's hot, huh? and then uh, we find a place to drink, a, drink beer. I mean, compared to Jakarta, <laughs> it will be easier, I believe, you know, because here is a drinking culture is more vibrant. So, well, we will see. It's really nice. They have, uh, like, uh, I don't know, maybe I have some time tomorrow. Uh, there is a museum here. It's like uh, Afro Brazil. Uh, so it must be, it must be interesting. So maybe, uh, like, maybe there is a, I have time and I'll, I'll stop by. Uh, but just uh, for now, I want to profit from uh, walking around, you know. Uh, getting as uh, much footage as I can. Oh. Okay. Like all around this park, they have like this, uh, like I mean, maybe like you can see on the background. So here, like it's, it's covered by high rise and I think um, like uh, high income households. So at least that's my feeling. It may be wrong. If you think it's wrong, please just tell me that uh, I also learned something. I, uh, I found a bookstore. I like to take um, like uh, buy books from local bookstores, you know, like because if you go to Argentina, to Buenos Aires, and then you, you have more, even in English, uh, obviously I, uh, I'm not capable, I'm so far away from capable of uh, reading in Portuguese, but like in English you can find uh, books talking about local uh, history, I like history, so uh, it's, uh, uh, maybe I will take a look, if, <laughs> if the heat wave doesn't take my life. Well, I was just checking um, like the forecast and it's, it was saying that it's uh, gonna rain uh, uh, like there was a, like a yellow alert, red alert, uh, maybe in the afternoon, I don't know. But now there is like, like the clouds, they look miserable and far away from uh, uh, capable of pouring down rain. Oh. I think this, uh, this place there, this building b back there we will pass from, is um, is the museum. Maybe maybe we go and take a look at the gate. Um, we thought maybe we make this epi this uh, depending on the footage um, that we can get uh, maybe we make two episodes what do you think if you are interested or if you uh, like uh, if you are bored you can write uh, in the comments if you want it like uh, like longer and longer like one and a half hours uh, video or um, like maybe in two episodes so oh yeah Yeah, Museu Afro Brazil, Emmanuel Araujo. I don't know. Excuse me if I pronounce wrong. I wonder who he is. Probably a patron of uh, Afro Brazilians. I think.
I mean, I'm, I keep on. Let's go take a look. I keep on repeating the same thing more or less, but <coughs> I mean, you cannot see this. You can never see this in Turkey. You know, like people, like old people, and my father's age. Like I never remember my father like going for a jogging. You know, like uh, people even older than him. Uh, he's like uh, 70. Like uh, they are on jogging. You know, it's uh, quite nice. Oops. Some murals, graffitis. Nice job. Well, there is an exit here, but I'm not going to exit right away. I will go further in the park and uh, we will get out at, uh, from, uh, from, a, from a different exit. I think what we're gonna what we're gonna do is um, we will walk around uh, this lake, and uh, from the other side we will. Uh, th there, there was a there was a there was a square or like a big boulevard. I think it's this one. There is one with the obelisk, but I mean obelisk is, uh, this is uh, yeah. There are some obelisks in Istanbul like in this uh, old city, old part of the city. I think the Byzantines brought them uh, from uh, brought, brought them from Egypt when they were ruling over there. Oof, the noise of this is uh, is quite dreadful. Let's get out of here before they start working again. <laughs>
people people were telling me that I may get mugged, you know, here. But uh, definitely, I'm walking with a, with the camera uh, in my hand. So, but I think uh, it should be fine. If you you hear me talking about this, then definitely I'm not mugged. Uh. Nice dog. Although I, I'm, uh, I'm a cat person. It was a mistake not to take water with me. I, t I, I remembered like I, I was carrying this water with me all around Jakarta and it, get, it got like uh, warm. So not drinkable at all. So I thought, yeah, come on, you will find something. <laughs> but, well, no one is perfect. So we will go around all this place and Go there. Well, at least that's the plan. Short term plan. Look, an intelligent person with the water. I'm really curious if it's gonna rain. Like it was saying, like it's uh, like 90% rain in the afternoon. Like 11 a.m. I think, yeah.
like the, the high-rise buildings, and uh, you can see you can see the obelisk uh, just on the background. And like uh, we walk all the way from the other side, came around here, and uh, I assume we go this side, uh, get out of the park. Yeah, well, you see this, uh, like, uh, it looks like train, you know, like the old trains, but it's, uh, I think, where they smoke uh, meat. Um, here, <clears throat> what to talk about Brazil is uh, that they have, like, a, a very vibrant uh, meat culture. They, they produce meat, they eat meat. They, uh, like you can see uh, animal dead bodies burns and so on all around um, I'm not a big fan of uh, eating animals uh, actually <laughs> I'm vegetarian I don't want to eat animals you know I don't want to eat animals um, just uh, but uh, I mean I'm not a fascist like uh, like uh, this uh, vegetarian Nazis you know <laughs> uh, that uh, it cannot be in the same environment as the people who eat meat. Like people all around me um, eat meat, um, except L. Um, like also in my working environment, like I come from a culture, like the Turkish culture is like it's, it's like this masculine thing, and um, I think what's uh, what really lies behind of this philosophy is that. Uh, like uh, Turkey was uh, is, is not a rich country you know so if you can uh, afford uh, meat and you make a publicity about it you know like yeah I ate like a, a half a kilo of uh, t-bone steak then people have the perception that you are prosperous which is uh, uh, which is something that uh, oh shit well, I will stop for a second. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was this awful uh, sound, uh, like payments uh, construction. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, prosperity and uh, role of meat, uh, making a, a show about it, you know. Uh, by the way, you see it's a nice mansions, colonial structures. Nice, for sure, it's a rich neighborhood. So. What they do is, uh, I mean, I'm talking for my culture. Maybe it exists here, but I don't know. Um, like they make a big uh, show about it. Like yeah, I ate a, uh, like like an animal, like a cow. I ate the whole cow and uh, so on. Basically, what they do is they eat like a baby cow, like uh, that they take from their mother who is sucking out milk. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not giving a uh, hate speech, but yeah, I mean, you can eat meat or fish. But uh, as I said, I don't want to eat animals. And what I think is um, this level of consumption, like certain parts of the world, they consume huge amounts of uh, like fish and meat. Um, this is not only bad for environment, like you see in Brazil, uh, maybe you read somewhere, like they. Um, slaughter the Amazon forest for um, uh, to open up space for cattle farms and I mean I think I think this is not good I don't know I think this is not good uh, uh, 
rich people uh, you see rich people like shade <laughs> it's a really nice street to walk mm -hmm, I liked it I imagine like I have a you have a swimming pool like have a beer oh just enjoying the weather I think it's like now 32 degrees Celsius oh, quite hot and I just checked the time as well it's like uh, 10 oh. oh yeah 10 a.m. obviously ah, I think I think this is a uh, it's a Volvo electric car. It's the first electric car I have uh, I've seen here. Um, I mean, electric car cars are the same. Some people like them. I mean, I personally, I have uh, an electric car, uh, EV. But like, <laughs> there is a there is also a big mobbing, you know, like uh, in certain parts of the world against people who drives EV or who are vegetarians and uh, vegans uh, I think it, there, there's a there's a, there's a uh, the argument there I don't, know, I don't know if you agree or not you see like these fences they uh, put electricity they put electricity on them so the poor people I mean the burglars <laughs> Uh, they don't climb there or if if they do they just electrify gets electrified okay let's make um, let's make a left and then a right yeah yeah I don't know what this uh, I think this is a solarium, uh, yeah, solarium, yeah. It's beauty, beauty clinic. This restaurant. Ah, I think it's a spa with a Greek concept. Nice. We are now uh, penetrating more into like this high-rise, uh, uh, high-income. I think upper middle class. It will be maybe the area just we just passed by is more uh, high income. This is like high uh, mid high level income, Something like that. And yeah, that's what amazes me. It's uh, all. Uh, I think this is something they uh, they uh, sell with, uh, with the apartment here, like as uh, the security aspect nice they um, all the houses like this high-rise apartments they have in front of them some security and uh, like this electric uh, fences uh, oh, I don't know maybe they are exaggerating or maybe they have reason Yeah, I think we are now getting more into this area with cafeterias and bars, maybe some shops. Probably some shops. Like you see, this uh, security and 
and they have all these things like Cuidado Vehiculos. Like, I don't know, maybe I pronounce it like more Spanish. Spanish like. Uh, <laughs> it's like. Uh, they have like this uh, garage, so. They ask us to be walkers, to be cautious. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm sure it's uh, quite hard for him or her or they. Maybe we'll see uh, here in uh, Sao Paulo. Like the, the city is, a, it's. I told you, like it's a high elevation, so it's not like a sea level. It's close to the sea, but like you have to pass some, uh, cross some mountains to reach the sea. And um, the city is like, for example, I've been to many cities and many many cities, and like at some cities, like you, you see a hill, huh? like in Istanbul, you see a hill, and then you say, okay. What I will do is I will clamp this hill and I will walk over this hill. Then it, uh, it will be fine, you know. I will, I will get the, I will get the pain, you know, and then it, I will be done with it. <laughs> but in Sao Paulo, it's not like that. It's like you climb a hill and then you say, okay, no? and, and it's like really steep, huh? and then you see it goes down. You have to go down, and then you have to climb up again to go. To your destination so so yeah and I think uh, that's also what gives character to the city if you agree oh, the shop, the, like the restaurants the cafes they just started to open up For them, it's early in the morning. But for me, it's like afternoon. Look at this door. I think I should be. I should pay attention. Cuidado. Oh. oh. Wrong alarm. Well, compared to uh, compared to Jakarta or uh, like I don't know some Asian cities, you don't see many people smoking here. Uh, so, like I think if we will we will uh, we will take a look. Um, if you go to a cafe and like even even sitting sit outside, maybe it's not pursued well. Maybe you should ask that if you can't smoke there, you know. Because I think they are not huge smokers. <laughs> Maybe they smoke some other things. You see, I don't know if you have, if you can have the perception of the hill it's ahead of us. But this is not. I mean, this is not a crazy big one, but still. I think we are now uh, going up to the area of Paulista. Um, we can put it in the description. I mean, you can you can just reach it. It's not like a, like a very very deep insight. You know, you can reach this information very easily. Like this Paulista area is, I think, like shopping area and so on. So I think if we continue like this, we will end up there.
That's nice of him. Well. This is nice. <laughs> I think it says, France, you are welcome here. Something like that. That's nice. It's a hairdresser. House. Um, when you say bakehouse, it reminds me like um, you see um, many people here um, with heritage from uh, uh, German uh, ancestry, you know, German, Austrian, Swiss, and like <laughs> there's this uh, on uh, uh, how to say like not confirmed. Well, it is confirmed, but you cannot generalize for all people. Hmm? I'm trying to be nice. Uh, like after the Second World War, a lot of Germans, Austrians, they like faked identities yeah, and uh, immigrated here. So, because here it's a nice place, um, I think, to start up a life, you know? I mean, I was thinking yesterday, like I read. Uh, from Reddit and so on, you know, like um, people go to like, Canada, like to start up a new life, but uh, like they complain, you know, they complain that uh, like they cannot find a job and like people who are really, uh, who really have a good education, like they make, I'm, I mean, I'm not insulting or so on, but uh, if you spend your life training, going to school, passing from exams and then go to Canada, make DoorDash. I mean, there's something wrong here. But if I would one day, I mean, uh, need to start up, a, start up a new life, I would come uh, here. I mean, I think people are more friendly to foreigners. I mean, the culture is different, sure. Uh, but uh, 
if you learn the language i think uh, you can have a better life better opportunities here of course life is difficult but at least uh, you save yourself from uh, like uh, the racistic uh, aspect i mean <laughs> yeah i was talking about the german uh, thing if i can find i mean i like maps huh? so i uh, <laughs> i was checking map uh, of brazil like long time ago huh? it's not something new and i saw like in southern brazil uh, north of uruguay and let's say south uh, southeast of uh, paraguay like there are like some ranches set up by uh, like this this immigrants that i uh, told you about <laughs> and like there is there's a there's a town called like in brazil huh? called uh, uberlandia uh, you know what like uh, now it's uh, clouds are picking up huh maybe i should have been easier on uh, meteorological services of uh, sao paulo we'll see I don't know if you like you can see I mean probably you can it's I think hard with uh, the camera to have the real perception of the hill probably you can hear my breathing <laughs> I'm a smoker and all this flying around I'm not in great shape I don't have time for myself to pick up the pace but it's fine I mean, look at this, like uh, they have uh, like this apartment and um, like this uh, glass uh, protection, like two layers, I don't know if it's bulletproof and then the usual um, electrical fences, that's a must. I mean, these are my comments from just uh, like observations. If you ask a Brazilian, I think uh, you must have reasons. I heard that there are like a huge favelas here, Sao Paulo. I look at here, it's so prosperous. So I think that's. Uh, <laughs> There's no need to address it like <laughs> the reason is uh, income inequality again, as always. Unfair distribution of wealth across, uh, across the planet. I want to go to Argentina. I mean, maybe not immediately, but um, I want to go and uh, <laughs> like take a look after Javier Milei has some effects, you know, on the country. I mean, I was following him uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, and um, he is like, like sometimes he's quiet, and then he, like he has his uh, PR guys uh, like repost, 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 you know, and then it made me sick. Now I follow, I'm following him. I'm sure he's feeling the pain but I mean I want to see what is uh, like after maybe a year or two uh, into his presidency I would like to go and take a look if there is a change but I what I hear what I read is that it's not getting better it's just uh, same shit for Argentinians you know like the people are getting robbed 
getting robbed by their governments like for years like this thing white uh what was it white and blue um, exchange rates it's crazy you know like uh, Argentina is nice as well, but it's different. It's different. It's more like Europe, poor Europe. And they have like a weird Spanish. I have to admit that I'm really, really happy. Uh, this hill is has come to an end. Well, the good thing is I have a spare T-shirt with me. That's one T-shirt though. I mean, it was like only <laughs> 10 seconds. Uh, until now, I mean, yeah, you'll say uh, you walk uh, in a uh, super capitalist area. Yeah, sure. But I mean, you see how the locals protect their house. So, but until now, I feel really secure. I mean, secure for the camera. I don't think anything Apple will happen to me. They will uh, like uh, kidnap me and uh, cut open my uh, deformed uh, kidneys. What's this? Let's take a look. Like the Trappist, I think it's Belgian, no? Uh, Brazilian coffee, yeah. I mean, you remember we were from our uh, Vietnam video that, uh, like, I was thinking that maybe it's uh, Brazil or like Colombia is the, in terms of uh, output, it's the biggest producer of coffee. Uh, Brazil is in, uh, of course, in top three or whatever. Uh, in cacao and um, coffee production um, but I, I you know well maybe I buy I don't know I don't, know. I don't want to carry it now I, I don't like the coffee I mean I like but I'm not a big fan because it's um, too uh, like chocolatey I like more like citrus and uh, like um, uh, berry, berry taste, aromatic coffee. Ah, yeah, this is definitely street called Paulista. Oh, let's go. I think, I mean, we will, we will walk here a little, of course, but uh, we will not linger, linger around too long. It's, it's this huge, uh, huge boulevard depresses me. I like more like a narrow street uh, establishments to chill. Yeah. Let's take a look until uh, the lights turn green for, green for us. Uh, a fake Eiffel Tower. Uh, 
Another one. Only Volvo though. Another EV, I mean. Come on. Metro bus. We have to be civilized. Now we can go. Like Javier Millen. <laughs> He's uh, like he has these memes, you know, that I think his uh, PR team makes for him. Or maybe he is, has the idea and they visualize the material. And like he has uh, like this uh, Mac, uh, like capitalist uh, country with McDonald's and uh, a communist country with uh, like eating cockroaches and uh, so on. I mean, how many communist countries left on earth? I mean, what's North Korea, um, Cuba, I mean, yeah. Vietnam, I mean, Vietnam is, is different. I think I'm not an expert on the Vietnamese economy or like a harmony of capitalism and communism in Vietnamese economy. But it's like you have, uh, you have KFC. I mean, if you have KFC, there's something wrong there. I mean, if you, are, if you assume that you are, you are a capitalist, uh, sorry, communist. This is an interesting building. It reminds me of this uh, ex-Soviet buildings, like how do you call it, brutal uh, architecture. Uh, look at this. Uh, reminds me of like these uh, buildings in uh, Belgrade or like in uh, uh, in, uh, in Georgia, Tbilisi, yeah? or uh, like all ex uh, Yugoslav and. Uh, Soviet countries they have these weird uh, weird uh, weird buildings well I think I don't know uh, this I I, uh, I have shame now I mean I know the Brazil flag and the one on the left I assume that it's this region's flag with uh, black and white stripes and like this red uh, part with the Brazilian uh, with the Brazilian flag a uh, Brazilian map put in I don't know the other one that looks like Texas Texas is uh, now getting hype with uh, <laughs> Thanks to Joe Rogan, Austin, Texas, <laughs> Texas. Oh. Yeah, you can see here Avenida Paulista. This is the, uh, well, I don't know if, if they say Avenida Avenue of Paulista. Yeah, let's go. I mean, again, if you compare um, until now, huh? if, like, if you compare this area, let's say, let's call this area as downtown of uh, Sao Paulo, huh? and if you compare it with downtown of Vancouver, oh, 
like uh, it's uh, I mean it's very sad like Vancouver is a crazy beautiful place like I really love the nature there but um, like the downtown area oh, it's crazy it's like uh, it's because of this fentanyl this fentanyl shit like uh, you see these people paralyzed like uh, I mean they seem like paralyzed totally unconscious here it's uh, I don't know maybe they forcefully evict homeless people I've seen a couple of them I have seen uh, in some other neighborhoods as well uh, I don't know or maybe the homeless they prefer not to live here ah oh, some raindrops maybe 